Hello and welcome to today's videos on how to configure RAID 5 in Windows Server 2016 also known as a stripping width distributed parity on a multiple hard drive. RAID 5 commonly used for data storage where the performance is not critical but the maximizing the disk uses is important. RAID 5 can also tolerate a single disk failures at the same time. RAID 5 is a storage device which serves as a solution to balance the memory property with the data security and storage cost. A RAID 5 volume strips the data and parity block across all disks, making sure that the block and its parity informations are never stored on a same disk. Distributing the parity eliminates the performance bottleneck of dedicated parity drive in a drive RAID 3 and RAID 4, but the need to calculate the parity information still adds overhead to the system. So as we discussed earlier, RAID 5 array can tolerate the loss of any one of its drive and can rebuild the missing data when the drive is repaired or replaced. So the minimum requirement for enabling the RAID 5 is you require at least 3 hard drives to enable RAID 5. So let's see how we can configure RAID 5 on this our demonstration VM. We have a three disk, disk 1, disk 2 and disk 3. So let's uh, click on this space, just uh, select new RAID 5 volumes and here's the brief overview information about the RAID 5. A RAID 5 volume stores data in a strip on a three or more disk. It provides a way of recovering data if part of the data is lost. Click on next, include uh, disk 2 and disk 3 and then the next options will be available. You check the same size from all the disk, click on next and uh, let's specify and click on next, let's specify red file, select perform a quick format, click on next and here's the overview information, click on finish to create the red file volume. The setup may take some time but the when it's complete you should now the setup may take some time to complete and the resyncing is started it's reached to eight percent this will take some time to complete and that's it now the red five is uh, created successfully and you can see the drive later and over here if you open uh, this PC and that time you can also see the RAID 5 total size of 199 GB. So we have a total 100, 100 and 100. So out of total 300 GB, we will get only 200 GB and the remaining 100 GB will reserve for parity information. Being able to set up RAID 5 using software is an easy way to save money and get a redundant storage media. Being able to set up RAID 5 using software is an easy way to save money and get a redundant storage media. You will be able to have one disk fail and your data will be still safe. If you lose two disks, your data will be gone. For every important data, always keep off system backup. So that's it for this video demonstrations. Thanks for watching this video.